Guys, you guys are not gonna believe this, but I just booked a flight out of the country, and I don't believe it myself. Uh, so today is uh, Sunday, so by the time you watch this video, it will be Saturday. But I just booked a flight to Japan, Tokyo, Japan. I'm excited, but at the same time I'm kind of nervous because I'm living on Sunday. Short notice. It's just an incredible feeling. It's a little rush to a country that I don't know the language yet. I feel like I'm one of those people in the movies that they just book a trip and leave. I've just never done this before. It's my first time. I've been out of the country, but not Japan. I've been to Mexico a lot, a lot of times, and that's the only country that I've been outside of the US. And this is my first time going to a different place where I don't know that language too. I'm pretty nervous and excited at the same time. You guys don't know the feeling, just making that decision right there and then, just click and book a flight for a week. You may also ask, why Tokyo? Why Japan? The things that come into my mind when I think about Tokyo or Japan in general is technology, futuristic, robots, a lot of uh, arcade stuff, arcade games, and anime. I was a little kid. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z. That was my the, the biggest cartoon that I really like, but you know, it's anime. And I just didn't know where it came from or anything. And I was growing up, I found out that it was made in Japan. So now I'm gonna prepare a list to see what I need. That way I can uh, have everything ready ahead of time. I know I only have uh, one week to prepare everything, but for some reason I always leave stuff last minute. Every single trip. It's the day before my flight and I got all my stuff packed already, like I like I said. And let's see what we got here. Yeah. I don't have anything packed yet. Uh, once again, procrastinate. Left it for last minute, so. I'll be watching videos and kind of searching online what to bring, uh, just for a week. So what I'm taking is a backpack and just a carry-on for this journey. And uh, there was this girl that I saw on YouTube that she mentioned all these items to take, but one of the main things that she highlighted, she said underwear. Lots of underwear. So, let's pack some underwear. Now here, take my underwear. All of it. There you go. And that's all we need. Enough with the jokes, I need to get packing. It's the last day. One more thing that I forgot to mention, I do not speak Japanese, so is it gonna be hard to get around? Probably, because one, I don't speak it, and two, I don't know uh, the place. But I've been practicing a little bit uh, in my journal. I've been writing down phrases just to get by, and also uh, this uh, Japanese for beginners, and hopefully this will kind of help me out. But I also have my you know, phone, just in case I need to translate something fast. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, that way you can see my journey in Tokyo live because I won't be able to put a video on YouTube until I come back to the US. So if you guys follow me there, I'll be posting pictures, videos, and live video too, so peace.